G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and welcome to another artist showcase video where you guys send me your artwork and I share some of the ones that are, are notable or have made good progress or are impressive to me and I pick one a week to go on the Newgrounds front page for extra exposure and attention and love and candy. So getting straight into it, our first artist is Crow Mag and his piece called Challenges Assemble Nova. I really like this. It's got three aspects here which uh, bring it out really strongly. It's got this purple overlay backing thing. It's got that sort of acidic look to it. Then the main feature piece of that character who's very simplistic but with solid line work. And then the overlay of that white, really well drawn, sharp looking uh, glow. And it's just got a really cool look there. So I wanted to share that one with you. Our next piece is by artist Rake Rakeyo and it's called Perfect Crime Number One. And I really like this, uh, in particular, the hair of the female just really impressed me, uh, probably because I can't do hair like that, <laughs> or at least not yet. But uh, that aesthetic of her face and hair uh, and the way that that is done stood out to me as a really great example as to how to do that. The next piece by artist Pinta Mimundo is called Shh, This Is My World and it features boobies. But aside from just boobies, it features a huge amount of detail. You can uh, really zoom into the high resolution version here and you have the really soft detail of the moss and the water and the overall aesthetic is really well done. But then the detail of the buildings and the hair and the main featured female, it's just, it's all put together really well and it's quite an impressive piece. Our next piece by Gherkin Man is titled Moon and I wanted to show this because stylistically it's quite different and stands out really well. I like the way that the uh, the fields and the mountains are done with this kind of uh, variant texture in a way just with these interlocking shapes and it kind of adds detail without essentially being a huge amount of detail. It's stylistically different and cool and I thought I'd share that with you. Our next piece by Insomniac with a one in the name is Old Warrior and I'm I'm a particular fan of pieces that can nail an aesthetic and I really like the aesthetic that uh, that our artist here pulled off with that kind of bitter cold feel that you know grisly look I'm, I'm really a fan of visceral sort of images things that that show something real something kind of harsh and uh, it kind of gives that feel of that sort of Game of Thrones the North Watch feel you know so I really wanted to share that with you. Our next piece is by A. Stekolnikov and it's called Anna. And it's really interesting because we have the mixes of two different things happening here. We have the uh, outside part of the picture which is the uh, setting of a picture being drawn and then we have a drawing itself. So this is somewhat like Drawingception, not Drawception because that's a web game. <laughs> but it's like a drawing inside a drawing and I thought that alone was just interesting which I liked and I wanted to share uh, and the actual drawing inside the drawing is done quite well. Next by Chewy Han Solo is Dream City and I love pictures that are just really simple but just really slick and this is the kind of picture which is almost deceptively simple like you look at it and at a glance you think well that's a really simple image and it looks nice to look at but when you zoom in you notice that every single one of those light line work buildings is completely individual and all have unique shapes and there's a lot of attention to detail but your eye doesn't go there you don't naturally think oh look at all those buildings they're all different or anything like that you just capture the feeling of what this image is trying to do and I just think it looks fantastic. The next piece is by the artist called Pozlavshi and it's called Girl in Pink Dress and I wanted to share this because he shared with me that this was his first ever digital image. This is really well done. So uh, anytime someone sends me an image and they inform me that it's it's a first attempt at something or that they're new to something, I'm always uh, interested to see how they go and, and something like this always quite impresses me because it shows that there's a very natural understanding of things like the human form and shading and proportion and everything like that. Next piece is by artist Zazo Kenelchi and it's called Love and War. And there's something interesting that the artist did here where the color layers that uh, they use to color the, the female have been duplicated and on the back layer of them, they've added a very, very thick Gaussian blur. And that's given this glow effect, which is really clever. Instead of just adding like an overall white glow or yellow glow, it gives the, the glow that a replicates the colors in the area that it's done and I just thought that was really clever and well pulled off. 
Our next piece by artist Fahad H.O. is Crash Bandicoot, and this is a piece of fan art. Uh, and it just stood out to me, it's very simple, but the contrast between the background, which is in a very painted soft style, and then the character art, which is in a really crisp line work and then thick color style, works really well. And that's, that's a style that I tend to favor myself because I work with a background artist who has a very painterly style, and I tend to have a very kind of thick, solid line work style. And I just think they complement each other really well and that he did a good job with that. Next by artist The Sketch Art is Sketch Art Pinup and it's a pinup of this girl with tattoos and it just looks cool. I really like the softness yet strength of the gradients and, and the shading that this sketch brings out. It's a really clever piece of artwork. It's a nice, really nice sort of soft image. I, I can't even explain it. It's like really soft and yet at the same time it, it maintains a lot of strength and solidity which is something quite difficult to pull off. Next by artist Miss Colleen J is a piece titled Somebody Call a Locksmith. A really fun sort of image here. We've got a lot happening uh, and yet the the thing that stands out most to me in this image is the compositioning. I like the way that the image flows and your eye is led through the drama. Really cool use of compositioning there. I like the colours and overall just a really cool piece of art. And our final piece of art that we're sharing today is by Mr. Warren L.O. and it's called Firelands. And this is the winner of our weekly front page spot. And I really love the look of this image. I love pieces that just invoke a really rich aesthetic. And you look at this piece and it's just rich. You're in an apocalyptic world. You're in this Firelands thing. I wanted to feature this as well because I think this artist get, needs some more attention because because uh, Mr. Warren Ello has some really cool artwork. So make sure to, go, sure to go check out his profile. And if you like his stuff, add him to your favorites on Newgrounds and you can get updates when he puts up new stuff. So that is it for our showcase this week. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, stay classy. I keep using that one. Maybe I should come up with my own tagline. See you later. Do you want me to review your artwork and have a chance to be in a future showcase video? Upload your artwork to newgrounds.com. You can send me a link by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time and understand I have a lot to get through, so please only send me one image and not a whole gallery and make sure that it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.